Coming up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and Nate Diaz. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, Nate Diaz, one of the biggest superstars in all of mixed martial arts. It's amazing to think where he could have taken his star power if he was in a regular cycle competing yes. every three months. Yes, if he fought as regularly as most guys, his star power would, would be even bigger. But Nate Diaz moves at his own pace. A phenomenal striker and a great jujitsu tacticianer. You fall into Nate Diaz's guard, you will get submitted as he's shown on a number of occasions, a fantastic fighter. Welcome back, Nate Diaz. You're not gonna out-cardio these Diaz brothers. You're not gonna out-tough Nate Diaz. And once again, he is facing top competition here tonight. We'll see how it goes for Nate Diaz here in his UFC return. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Adesanya is 31, Diaz is 35. Adesanya is four inches taller. He will have a four inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Body out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nick. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Israel. The last style bender, Adesanya! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. Because that one skill he has 
is so good that you're, uh, you're in danger the entire time. Big leg kick lands. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, GC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, GC. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. Right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Punch over the top. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. And he landed the right hand there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Big kick land. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, pin down. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch, got to shore up the defense. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick lands. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Good takedown defense by Israel. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, huge hook. Oh. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His striking was money in that previous round. Got to think he'll pick up where he left off. All about the money. He was three back. Cash. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Every single strike he landed was on point. It was accurate, and it was every, every time he let loose, he was able to land and land to great effect. Real quick leg kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. He got the turtle in that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Diaz has got the tight clinch. Let's see what he can do. That knee might have landed there. It's real out of sight. Oh! Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Now, if you're the opponent, you really got to be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're going to just run me over. Easier said. Whoa, he's got him right here. So 52 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz and landing with 35% accuracy against Israel Adesanya. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much. Oh! Oh! Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch 
there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Look at him drive his shoes. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Oh, nice jab. Now under a minute to go in the second round. Just misses with the jab. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Hook to the body here. Block. What a round. More than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice punch by Adesanya. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. 75 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. And landing with 37% accuracy thus far tonight against Nate Diaz. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. A finish could come here at any time. Misses again with a right punch. Pretty effective strike there as he led with that left hand. It's his best strike. It does not matter what fight stance he's in. Adesanya gets caught with that punch. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of... Oh! Throws him off. Go get him. Job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh, oh big punch man. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. That is it. Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Unbelievable. Oh my goodness, what a fight. I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force. Full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. decision is in. That's where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of round number 3. Going to win by knockout and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world is
Let's go! 